Welcome to the first part of the tutorial series for our Jira time tracking and reporting app Report Builder. In these demo videos, we would like to quickly showcase what Report Builder can do. Let's have a look at the first way of using this app, tracking time, intersection, my timesheets. This is the central place to get an overview of all your personal work logs in different types of views. The first view is the calendar view. By default, you can see the calendar view for each month. You can easily switch between different months with the month picker to see your track tickets and work logs. You will also get the total hours of your picked month. In the top right corner, you can switch to the weekly view. This view displays only log time and total hours of your particular week. Next is the weekly view with a time layout column on the left side of your timesheet. This is the most accurate way to see and manage work logs for every particular hour of your working days. If calendar view does not work for you, you can switch to timeline view in the upper right corner. This is a table format. Here you can easily configure your selected period of time with a date picker and change the way of grouping your results. You can drag and drop your needed grouping format here from the right to the left column in the corresponding pop-up. For example, grouping by project and issues. All results can be easily exported to Excel, CSV or PDF file formats with just one click. Let's go back to monthly calendar view to show you how to add new personal work logs and edit already existing ones. Let's edit a work log entry. Just double click on an entry in your calendar and make the changes you need. If you would like to add new work log, just click the lock time button in the upper left corner. Alternatively, you can find a neat ticket in the issue list to the right. And drag and drop it into your calendar. Then just put in the spend time, add a description and hit save to log it. To configure your time format and some other options, click on the settings buttons on the top right corner. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos in the series to get a complete overview of the most important function of this app. Finally, if you would like to get a free demo, please contact us at actonic.de.